What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Nana, this time in volume 12, chapters, uh, chapter 45. Uh, just going to recap the last one quickly, of course, uh, the standout moment for me last time out was us seeing Osaki's mum <laughs> and her family, which was crazy. Uh, the start of the episode, of course, we had the marriage stuff between Ren and Osaki as well, which was really cool. Got her a ring, which was nice. Went through all the uh, formalities and the documents and such, which were an absolute pain in the ass. Um, I do want to mention that I did. I, I just finished reading the Naoki uh, backstory from Volume Nine. I think it was uh, lots of interesting moments in there, uh, especially for Naoki, who it was shown never really had a romance or anything, uh, which was quite sad. And that goes with what I've been saying this whole time about him. And Yasu being a couple of characters that haven't, we haven't really explored romantically, Yasu was pretty well explored romantically in that those chap uh, in that chapter, actually. And when I say that, we've heard about his past relationships, so we didn't actually see anything. Um, but it almost makes it a bit more sad that I think what happened with him in those chapters is I don't I don't fully understand it, but we've heard Ray has always liked Takumi and they've always had a a really close relationship. I think it's almost a bit like what we saw with the situation with Osaki where another one of someone he knows is kind of someone he's had a relationship with. He never really had a relationship with Osaki, but there was something there, wasn't there? That was, uh, she She was Ren's and Reira is Takumi's. It's like he, every girl we've seen him try and like date has always been like owned by somebody else owned in quotas there because much more fitting for takumi <laughs> but um yeah so I just kind of feel bad for him romantically after reading those chapters but really cool stuff seeing a lot of their early life in high school and such and seeing them all in the in the younger years but yeah really enjoyed uh really enjoyed that backstory for noki and was quite needed as well because he's a character that has been uh yeah we haven't had too much of him in the story have we yeah we had the uh the ring there which was cool and then, as I said, we had this really interesting... Well, before that, we had the like, paparazzi up there sneaky business again. But we had this with Osaki's mom, which was quite crazy. It was quite crazy indeed. I can't wait to see more of this kind of situation. But, yeah, looking forward to seeing what we've got to cover today. Do let me know what you guys uh, think about this chapter down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. Uh, apologies, there might be a few cuts today just because I'm not feeling uh, I'm not feeling bad, but I've just got a bit of a cold. But um, yeah, let's get right into it. There's the uh, the ring looking beautiful there. More than anyone else I've ever met. To me, Nana was the friend that I felt destined to be with. I could even feel. The red thread that bare, that was barely there, still connecting our fingers. So that's quite funny she says that, especially as we've now seen two of these diamond rings. The, the wedding finger. <laughs> it obviously comes to mind, but yeah, I mean, very much, very much is still something there, isn't there? Like, we haven't, we haven't seen them interact too much. We, we saw them at the fireworks, but I'm hoping to see more of Nana and Anna together going forward. I don't think we'll see nearly as much as we had, but it kind of it, it almost amplifies the moments when they are together, the fact that we were together so much and now it's yeah, very distant. Nice little cover here with Shin. Pure white hair. There's big old fuck off layer. <laughs> Which somehow doesn't make it into the shot, but that thing is so huge it, it probably should. Searching for our dreams. Volume 40, well, chapter 45. Oh, you know what? I think I actually might prefer that in black and white. It looks nice in colour, don't get me wrong, but it's quite striking in black and white, doesn't it? Okay, let's get into it. I um I did get a message about switching up where I react to this, but I didn't see too much of a difference between chap. I didn't see any difference, honestly, between where I'm reading it now and 
um, where I got told to read from. I, uh, I did test out and again there was no major difference and uh, I think this was actually a little bit more easier for for me to um, sort out with the uh, the chapters and volumes because in the place where I was going to watch it had all the chapters of a volume in one so it'd be a little bit harder to kind of pick out um, I do find these shots really interesting like, are these drawn these shots because we see a lot of these just like pictures <laughs> of, uh, of Japan don't we something we didn't really get in the anime strangely I've seen that a few times in anime though of anime kind of having just actual images Gintama had quite a few <laughs> little comedy ones but I've seen other series that have done that so again are these like drawn or are these kind of like photographed and then put on the uh, the manga I guess is that a lemon or because that's like a lemon or a lime or an orange I don't think that's an orange is it yeah I think that's like lime Pirulu. Some kind of alcoholic beverage, I imagine. Happy birthday. I brought your CD. Think of me sometimes, okay? Ryoka. How could I forget? Who's Ryoka? Who is this as well, by the way? Who is this? It's a shin. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Again, it's, it's one of those things. If this was anime, I heard a voice, I'd definitely be able to see who this is. But I think this is Shin. I don't know, though. Can't be sure. How could I forget? Hey, did you see that press conference yesterday? I saw. Ren was so cool. He's the greatest. I wonder if he'd ever fly onto one of our planes. This, these are airport maids. But Nana pisses me off. I just want her to go away. Really? She doesn't really seem to be a bad person. During the interview, those two seemed so calm you could just feel their affection for each other. Yeah, if Ren's happy, that's enough for me. We've seen that a few times, haven't we? girls not liking Nana too much and I think that's understandable I think Nana isn't she isn't much of a girl's girl honestly she's more of a guy's girl I, I think she would make a lot more men friends away from romantic stuff men friends than she would make women friends which is um, quite funny because obviously we saw her create a, a brilliant relationship with Komatsu and she does have well to be honest yeah apart from Komatsu she doesn't have too many woman friends I guess Misao but Misao was a fan first of all so I think I'm right in saying that aren't I I think I'm trying to say I'll probably get along with her quite well I think a lot of guys would if friends happy that's enough for me and anyway I've still got Takumi Sama no way I'm taking Tak I'm taking Yasu instead well if we're talking about blast I'd say Nobu long hair is really out of style these days He's so little and cute. Nobu? Shin is definitely the cutest. That's an underage kid you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but I really wonder how old those two are. Don't you think Shin looks like he's a middle schooler? What about you, Ryoko-san? Ah, so that was Shin earlier we saw. She works as a... this. Who is this Ryoko-san? Um, interesting. Maybe this is a woman he slept with is what I'm assuming, first of all. He's a flight attendant. Who's your favourite in Blast? I'll bet it's Yasu. I'm sorry. I don't have any interest in entertainers. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a, a woman that hired him for his services. Is that not just like does that does that not make you think that your friends are literally saying he looks like a middle schooler and she looks kind of smug almost? <laughs> I'd be I'd be disgusted at myself. Uh, not that I'd ever do that because it's getting us disgusting. But do not 
be a little bit disgusted at yourself. I guess the fact she done it means that she wouldn't be disgusted at herself, but should be. Should be disgusted hearing that and then <laughs> Yeah. She's got proper pointy boobs, hasn't she? Look at that. <laughs> Strange. Oh, click click clack. Click clack click. Ryoka san is quite the enigma. What does she have an interest in, I wonder? Opens or something? Oprah or something. All that aside, did she get a Ray Rapper? That's the thing. When this was set, uh, well, I don't. I'm not sure when this is set. I think it's in like the early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Um, I think we did discern that early on in the series, didn't we? But I can't remember. Um, but this was this manga was released in like the mid 2000s. I'm not sure what year it is at the time of this chapter, but during those 2000s, punk music was massive, wasn't it? A lot of my favourite punk music, I was big into punk. I wasn't an emo kid or anything, and I wouldn't say punk is emo. But um, it was really popular with me and my friends, punk music and, and rock music from like the early 2000s. Uh, although rock music was quite different. From, I'm not sure you can really call it rock music. There was some rock music in the 2000s, but again, punk, pop punk and such was that was very big and uh, popular with me and my friends as well. A lot of people at my school just loved like Blink-182 and... Uh, they were my favourites and, and such like that. So, um, yeah, I think the whole world maybe. I, I, I'm not sure about the whole world, but it, it was very popular during this time. So I guess they're, they're kind of... Ryoko's the odd one out for not caring too much about pop-punk music. No, she had that hairstyle before Trap Nest even debuted. I was going to mention, she looks a lot like Rayra. I didn't mention it because there's, uh, to be honest, the, the character designs in this show, quite a few characters look similar. Like half of these girls here look like Kamatsu. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that or not, but I, de I definitely do. Um, on that point, funny enough, a lot, I saw people getting mad at the fact that someone said that in the latest Seven Deadly Sins uh season which i'm nowhere near up to date with I'm not going to be but i saw people get mad at someone saying all the character designs are like meliodas and they all do every new character design from that key visual looks like meliodas key visual i'll, I'll try and get it up quickly new key visual Um, I'm not sure it'll be like on the top of Google because I think it only just came out. But um, yeah, either way, all the character designs look like the main character, and I think that's slightly similar here in a way. Like, there's a lot of very similar character designs. This uh, the hair definitely reminded me of Rayra's kind of hair. It looks facially quite a lot like her as well, but. Yeah, interesting. But she'd really look like Rayra if she let her hair down. Ray Ryoko Perm? I'm so jealous. Woohoo. Cars without the cigarette stink are so nice. The air is so refreshing. It's another thing. Uh, I think I think it was the early two thousands. It might have been just before that, but you're pretty much allowed to smoke anywhere. For, for quite a while back in the day I wasn't visiting any of these places while that was the case but I bet that was a big refreshment for people that don't smoke imagine uh, imagine nowadays you go to a restaurant and half the restaurant's smoking you just be just be tasting smoke I uh, I think I have mentioned I quit smoking over a year ago now so um, when I go into like a room with with my dad's like smoking and uh yeah I really, it doesn't make me feel nauseous because again i've smoked before but I, I definitely uh i definitely understand why people kind of hated being around the smell of smoke and such yeah if takumi and ren were here i'd probably be really sick thank you mary chan oh yeah planes as well that would be horrible trains planes automobiles <laughs> thank you mary chan Female staffs are definitely more attentive. I think that's probably why I started smoking. My dad used to smoke in the car on the on the way to primary school for me, so I inevitably 
picked up some of that secondhand smoke, um, which obviously looking back, you definitely should have done. <laughs> but also what really sticks out to me is, this, this is going to sound really weird, but one day I uh, we were playing at the pool in my yard. My dad uh, got this kind of blow up pool and I ended up drinking, for the first time ever, I, I drank a bit of uh, Red Bull. I was really young, I must have been like 8 or 9 or something. Maybe slightly older, 10 or 11 or something like that. But I think it had ash in it. My dad was using it as an ashtray. It was actually not, it, it was a finished Red Bull, but had a little bit in there. It had ash in there as well. And I drank it, and no word of a lie, that was one of the tastiest drinks I've ever had in my life. Cigarette ash and red bull it sounds terrible <laughs> but when i was a kid i don't know why that tasted absolutely delicious maybe it was just like a bit of nicotine or the red bull kind of surge from the first time ever drinking the tiniest bit of it or something but i can i've never i never forgot that uh, taste and that and i'm I, I don't think i've tried it since but I, I feel like if i did try it it wouldn't taste anywhere near as i as good as it tasted to me when i was a kid it's really weird i know that's just a memory that sticks out a lot. I uh, I mentioned a couple of days ago in one of my videos about another horrible memory <laughs> that I had with a Coke. Um, I, I think I ended up like drinking a Coke really quickly and then I ended up snorting. And then when I snorted, so a bunch of Coke came out of my nose and it was just open, really fizzy. And uh, that, that was one of the most painful experiences of my life, honestly, having Coke bubbles and the fizz go through my nose and out and... That was horrible because it, you felt the sting and the fizz for hours afterwards. It was, yeah, that was another really memorable memory from my childhood. Thank you, Manny Chan. Female staffs are definitely more attentive. It suck. I bet you made us a reservation at some delicious miso cooked udon restaurant. Dorsia. <laughs> Nope, today you get radio station lunches. Hey, what about my tebasaki? Or my Hitsu ma Mabushi? What are we even going to Nagoya for then? To promote your new song. <laughs> uh, again, I think, that, I think that Naoki story really did do quite a bit for me, for him as a character. Again, it was just kind of there for me, but I guess now I actually do kind of... It was interesting to get this respect on things. Tebasaki is a Japanese style of marinated grilled chicken wings, and the Nagoya version is quite spicy. Hitsumabushi is another Nagoya specialty of broth boiled eel. I hate how this is written. It's written a backwards three. Sorry, that's just a me thing. <laughs> Whoever writes this writes with their E's as backward threes. Eel on rice, and like it's it's like a capital E as well. It's like like they're, they're not writing all capitals, but for some reason the like is that I don't know. <laughs> that pisses me off a little bit. Boiled eel on rice with sweet soy sauce served with assorted condiments. But tonight is your birthday party. I got a really fantastic chef, so you have uh, so you have a lot to look forward to. So you have that to look forward to. Oh, speaking of the pie, I have a friend I want to invite, and I was wondering if that was okay. Who? Achiko. Uh huh? Her wedding had to be put off for our work, and I feel really sorry for her. Do you know what? I think she could use a bit of a party. Oh, well, we got some of those. Uh, Japanese love these, don't they? These little uh, chocolate sticks. They, uh, they made it their way over to the UK, probably quite big in America as well, but I remember that, that was quite a popular period of having these when I was at school. Takumi will be Takumi after all. But there was also quite an interesting look at Takumi during that Naoki backstory, a very interesting look at him as, as his younger self and hearing about his um, parents as well, which was quite sad. His mother ended up dying after like 10 years in hospital and his father was like an alcoholic. Everyone in this show seems to have te like terrible, well, it's bad to call them terrible parents, but kind of irresponsible parents and or just unfortunate circumstances to do with their parents, except for Komatsu. He's the only one we've seen with a pretty decent family, it looks like. 
Uh, well, actually, again, in those chapters, Yasu had a pretty nice family as well. It wasn't his biological family, but he had a nice um, foster family. I can't help but think it'd be good for her as to, to have for us as friends. Gonna be bad for the baby if the mother's always so lonely. But today there are going to be a lot of people aside from just the close staff. I wonder how Takumi would feel about this. That's why I plan to keep it a secret. Oh, he's not going to like that. I mean, if Takumi wanted this to happen, he would have invited her anyway, right? I'm still, I'm still wondering about this Stella girl or whatever her name was from London. Like, what was going on with that? Was she just a one night kind of? She's just always like a one night stand, ready and waiting in London or something. Uh, nothing ever really came from that. It's your party, Rayra, so it's okay with you, and everyone's fine. What do you think? As long as Ren, as long as Ren gets married, things will work out, right? I understand. You're right. I've been feeling like I owe her something, and should do something to help her. I feel like this Ryoko girl might be Rayra's sister. Because they look so alike, their hair is very similar. Shin slept with her, so I feel like that could be a point of drama. I don't know why. I had that feeling earlier, but I didn't mention it because I could be wrong. Let's say trash. Brash or brush. I don't know. Brash. <laughs> Beep. Well, thank you for being here today despite your busy schedules. We apologise for any alarm this may have caused. There has been a lot of unpleasant gossip, but we have no plans to try to contradict any of what's been said. We have decided to get married of our own choice. I think that if you try hard enough, you'll be able to understand our decision. He's so cool. <laughs> no matter how many times I see him, he's so cool. She's just rewinding this. <laughs> Is that what's going on here? She's just rewinding this over again. Looks super cute here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Looks super cute. I keep on rewatching. I have too much free time. Yeah, she does. And so, you go. <laughs> Damn, she looks so cute here. Uh, what was it? Like I know, you don't have a damn script. Bonjour, Sam. What did you say when you proposed? When I proposed? Spend your life with me. He didn't say that. Why are you asking such an obvious question anyway? I mean, yeah, what, what else do you say here? Will you marry me? I think that's just the obvious assumption, right? Giggle, giggle. And Nana-san, how did you respond when he proposed? That's impossible. You did not. This is the greatest. This is really cute. Was I just laughing alone? I'm so weird when I'm alone. <laughs> is that not normal? You guys don't laugh when you're alone. <laughs> like, do you guys not have fun? And maybe because I'm an introvert, uh, maybe maybe extroverts don't. Maybe extroverts don't have fun or laugh, feel anything when they're alone. Um, well, they probably feel something. <laughs> that sounded terrible. Uh, but maybe because I'm an introvert, you can have fun by yourself. You can laugh. You can watch TV and laugh and watch a movie and have fun and cry and feel emotional. Right? Like, what's weird about that? And I was really laughing hard. What's wrong with that? You're not weird at all for doing that. So here's Naoki on the phone. Hey, Nana-chan. It's Naoki. How are you? She always, like this, this always scares me a little bit. The way she always reacts to like texts and messages like from Shin, from, from anyone, from Naoki, just anyone other than Takumi. The way she reacts to messages, it's always like she's super worried and anxious and 
should be like happy and like excited. But she's always super. I think Takumi's made her feel that way a bit. I don't know. She's always really apprehensive. Really, yeah, it's quite strange. Hey, that's right. I gave him my mobile number. Give me your cell number for when Takumi's not here. <laughs> okay. But I didn't think he'd really call me. What do I do? Do. Anyway, I know this is sudden, but are you free tonight? Yes. I'm always free, <laughs> so. Well, that's a little bit sad. But how about a secret date without telling Takumi? <laughs> so that's the vibes I was getting, you know. I was like, is she gonna think he's asking her to cheat on him, uh, cheat on Takumi, or get with him, or something? It kind of seems that way. She's got stars in her eyes. Not a date. I almost had it too. Honestly. The men in this band. Again, I almost feel bad for him though. Again, now knowing his backstory, he made up a story about having a lover, and I've never seen him have anything, any kind of meaningful relationship in in terms of love and women. You know, and he slept with fans and people like that. Quite sad, honestly. Nice to talk to you, Nana Chan. This is Rayra. Uh, hit. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, our Takumi's been such a burden. What? You his mother? I really feel that he's been a nuisance and I apologise. Of course not. I'm the one who should be apologising for being a nuisance. In Japan, when meeting an account acquaintance of one's family member, often a parent meeting or a child's friend, in this manner it's very common and considered polite to apologise for this person's perceived wrongdoings. This is why Naoki is asking if Freya is Takumi's mother. Yeah. So Japanese that, isn't it? To apologise for your family member, even though you, you don't even know if they've done anything. <laughs> Actually, tonight is my birthday party, and I'd really like to get to know you, so please come. Bye. Who? Was that some declaration of war? <laughs> How would you take it like that? Excuse me? How did you just take that as a declaration of war? I can kind of understand because I think she knows that Rayru and Takumi are super close. And obviously Komatsu is his girlfriend slash wife to be right now. So I think the initial reaction is when speaking to a girl like that is to... But well, I'm not sure how women feel, but as a guy it's definitely kind of... If if your girl is like if she's ever been close to a guy, and uh, he like pops up and gets all all like this, he probably would be on the defensive. He probably would be thinking, "Oh shit, he's, he's trying to steal my girl." <laughs> Can't let be having that. But no, it's nothing like that. I don't think here is it. I think Rover's just trying to be nice, get to know the woman that captured Takumi. Even though I think it's the other way around. I think he captured her. Like hostage situation type thing. <laughs> Don't like the guy. But um, yeah, it's obviously not that bad. Although I say that, he's definitely done some disgusting things. Horrible guy. I was nervous. I, again, I still I don't really know what to think. But he's a great character, but I just, yeah, I just don't like him at all. Not someone I'd get along with at all. In fact, it'd probably be someone I'd hate in real life. Someone I'd probably despise, honestly. Especially if I knew that he... R-word had come out to and... Yeah, all that. I can't ever get over that, to be honest with you. I won't ever get over that. Uh, I was so I was so nervous that wasn't... Sorry. I was nervous that wasn't very smooth. Sigh. I wonder if you'll come. I think she kind of can't come since she doesn't know the time or place. Can't be helped, I guess. Beep, 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 beep. Got a text at the address. Takumi told me that there's nothing going on between him and Reira, but it seems like there definitely is. I wonder if she really did invite me just out of goodwill. I have no idea how celebrities' minds work. 
I said it's a common thing, isn't it? I've mentioned this a few times during this show. People on the outside, especially without the internet and social media, used to think celebrities were a whole different breed of people. Like they weren't human. They think differently, but no, they are just normal human beings. Ring, ring, ring. Again, I think that's changed a lot since social media because you actually do get to hear the thoughts and opinions and such of uh, artists. It's a bit more open. The lives are more open. Startled. I'll be there to pick you up at six, baby. <laughs> Man, sometimes these texts are so cringe. <laughs> oh, God. I have no idea what's going on, but cringe in a good way. But at this point, will it be bad if I don't go? Hello, are you looking for something in particular? Yes, something to, pre uh, to present to a princess for the celebration of her birth. Huh? Accessories seem wrong. If I get her something unusual to wear, it'll seem like I'm holding a grudge. Maybe a stuffed animal? But she's an adult, even though I want it. Fawned. What does this say? And. I was going to say and, but it's, again, what is this style of writing right here? <laughs> and. I'm an adult. How about a book of art prints? Maybe she'd like clipped, but she probably has tons of the real thing. Maybe some sort of necessity, like disguise glasses? But Raven wouldn't want to look like this. Should I wear them tonight? <laughs> it's useless. I have no idea. What do you buy for a celebrity? This is me trying to pick out presents for anyone. I'm, I'm terrible at picking out things for people, honestly. Some things are easy, of course, but certain people and things that, yeah, it's just ter terrible to buy for. I'm so tired. So apologies guys, as I did mention earlier on, I've already, I've paused in every five minutes, so, <laughs> so apologies for this. Uh, I'm just leaking really bad right now. My brain, my brain matter is just leaking. Um, <laughs> but, uh, speaking of which, I'm looking pretty run down. You're pregnant, Kamatsu. So that's, a, that's another interesting thing. We haven't actually seen too much of her dealing with the pregnancy. I know it's early on, but... We did see, uh, I guess we did see it earlier, like a few chap, well, what would have been a few chapters back in the anime of her kind of dealing with the morning sickness and such. But I do wonder if we'll get into that. That that should be pretty interesting. Yeah, obviously she can't drink or anything. Recently, I've seen some photos of, uh, I think that's these like these two American, um. Isn't it? I think it's like Chris, Chris or Chris Rock or something. Um, I keep seeing these, these these like two people all over my Twitter feed. I really couldn't give less of a fuck. Man, I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're like rappers or what. But I did see that her baby is looking awful because that thing. Uh, yeah, she she obviously was getting drunk a lot while pregnant, and it it looks crazy. So uh, obviously, yeah, I don't want to see Komatsu party in too hard tonight. <laughs> what do you wear to a celebrity party? An evening dress or something? But if I guess wrong, I'll look like an idiot. Wow, <laughs> The zipper won't zip. That is also another pregnancy thing right here as well, I guess. Instead of going to a beauty salon, I should have been looking for clothes. Why did I have to be fat today of all days? Imagination. I can understand the stomach, but why are my arms fat too? Yeah, literally not. Because it's the Demon King's child! <laughs> Sachiko. And my face is really round too. It's a disgrace for such a hideous woman to be Takumi's fiance. And what about the birthday present? Wow, wow, wow. Over, overdoing it a bit here, Komatsu, but all this stuff is really normal, of course, isn't it, for a pregnancy? If she actually looked like that right now, that would be very normal. 
Ding dong. Now he's early. Idiot. Idiot. Hello. Kyosuke Junko here. Ah, oh, it's these two. What are they doing here? Looking super happy. I mean, this is this dude's like fifth style throughout the show. Always, always switching things up. What are you two doing here? You came because you knew I was in trouble? Telepathy? Huh? You're in trouble again? Your face is flushed. Swat. Don't pay any attention. We just came to admire the video, right? The video? Yesterday's press conference. You taped it, right? Today was something else. It was what everyone at school talked about. It really bothered me that I missed it. But now's not time for that. Wow, help me, Jun Chan. <laughs> I'll be heading back now. We just got here. Hello, can I help you? Oh shit, your man has been stolen instantly. Thank you very much. You'll probably be getting a lot of flowers. Well, whatever. This should be fine. Okay, so it looks like he's gone out to buy Ray Russ some flowers. I'm sorry, Jin Chan. I promised I wouldn't be weepy and I just keep crying. But these aren't tears. They're the sweat of my heart. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Oh, I like that explanation, honestly. They're the sweat of my heart. Pretty cool saying, actually. I like that. I might steal that one if I if I ever need to, which I doubt it. I know, I know. Are these clothes okay with you? This should be fine. The shawl doesn't accentuate your stomach. But what about shoes? It's really hard to wear heels at a time like this. Ding dong. Naoki! Okay. Delivery. Huh, just Kyosuke. I'm tired of seeing his face. <laughs> what a boring life. I could hear that. Hey! <laughs> Come on, Junko. That's literally your long time boyfriend. Even when they're being mean to each other, Jun Chan and Kyosuke always seem like such good friends. Oh, so this is what you got. Thank you. It was just the first thing that came to mind. Here's your change. I prefer Dango if it were me. They seem to balance each other out, so they're a great match. Dango, yes, yeah, like that's sweet, isn't it? I've still got a bit of time, so do you want to see the video? Definitely. It, if we don't finish, I'll lend it to you. So this is a, a thing you wouldn't be doing nowadays. I think you can just rewind TV nowadays. I haven't watched TV in a long time, to be honest with you. Actual TV. Um, but yeah, you'd used to have to like record over a videotape and uh it was it wasn't see i don't i don't i, I don't think i ever actually done it I, I i mean i know of people recording over videotapes but i don't think i i ever had the know-how to do that <laughs> i used to have videotapes of course but um i've never recorded over one I've, i remember i i do remember burning over cds when it, it was like getting to the late 2000s um yeah i never kind of recorded over a, a videotape before but i imagine that's what kamatsu's done here even ren and nana seemed like they were friends before becoming lovers it's really cool but takumi and i definitely but takumi and i are definitely unbalanced a mar what is this a married couple comedy skit seems like a formidable duo has appeared Nana, Nana Ren Duo. Even if we created a world of our own, it seems like it can't be any bigger than this. Our goals and our interests are too different. I agree. Maybe things will just be like this sometimes. I'll just have to try hard to be friendly. Even if I go to this party, I'll be out of place. I won't have any friends there, and I'll feel uncomfortable. 
Hey, yes, Sam. Did you invite Hatchy to the party tonight? I'd be fine with it. Even if invited, I don't think she'd come. I think she's probably under the impression that Shin's birthday is in January. Speaking of which, that little voice break there. I don't have voice breaks. So I, I often at all, so I doubt it. But it kind of sounded like a little voice break for me there. So <laughs> apologies. Speaking of which, the one who originally remembered the date in uh, the personal survey wasn't me. It was Hatchy. Oh, really? Although it seems like she was off by one day. That's so like her. Shin would be really, be really happy if Hachi came. It'd probably be hard for me. Hard for me. Sorry. It'd probably be hard for her to come though. But if she was to come for Shin, then I would look at her differently. But today's party was arranged by the trap nest side. You can't really just invite any ordinary people that didn't put that didn't put on that we didn't put on the list we gave them. Yeah, but even it but even if she is ordinary, she's still Takumi's fiance. Hopefully he invited her. So I don't think Komatsu knows that Yeah, it wasn't mentioned to be fair, was it actually? That Naoki didn't mention that Blast is gonna be there, which is gonna be a nice surprise. Hopefully she goes. I almost have a stinking suspicion that she won't go, but I hope she does. In Takumi's mind, even a party is like work. Even though Reira will, uh, will hate that too. But if he did invite her, then I can be re uh, reassured that he's treating her well. No, he didn't. <laughs> huh? Where are Yasu and Nobu? Maybe they went to the bathroom together. Oh, these guys looking fancy. Osaki wearing a dress like this. My days. She looks very beautiful, doesn't she? More of these weird shaped boobs, by the way. Now, what is this? <laughs> Not that I care too much, but just noticeable. They're yeah, looking very nice. Yeah. Yeah, unusual look from. Osaki, isn't it? I like it though. I like Shin's outfit a lot here. He looks great. Give bear. <laughs> Maybe they went to the bathroom together. Shin Chan. Don't memorize vulgar words like that. If we don't get out of here soon, we're not going to make it. Since we have to go all the way to Kumaku Kamakura. What would they do if, if the guest of honor was late? Looks very beautiful here, doesn't she? Ah, no, no, that dress really suits you surprisingly enough. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> well, I didn't say it suits her, but she looked great in it, even though it is unusual. You look cool. Oh my, it really does. But don't you think it's pointless to try to be normal? I'm really glad I asked Masaru-chan to help out. All of the journalists here may have changed your uh, changed your minds about me with the tide of popular media and are laughing about it now. But I've been cornered into a situation where if I take one wrong step, I could lose my band, my lover, and everything I hold dear. It's not even not even that. I mean, it's not even if you take a wrong step. It's if you took a wrong step in your past as well. That comes to light, which could potentially happen with the paparazzi, and their investigations. Even if you don't, if you don't, even if you don't take a wrong step, but have taken a wrong step, everything could go wrong. And in a lot of situations, that's awful. In some situations, like someone's some, done something disastrous in their past, some some guys like some heinous criminal. Obviously, it's a good thing, but most of the time, people change. What the hell are you watching? My treasured videotape. <laughs> Ginchan copied it for me. There was no call for that. Oh, but this interview is so, ever so popular. At first, I wondered how well it would go over, but it's been quite a success. My band and the staff have really supported me, and somehow we made it up to our debut. This is how I could decide to be with Ren. I wanted to thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. This is me. I don't ever really watch my videos back. It's, it's always, yeah. 
I don't know. I feel like I'd maybe be a bit embarrassed or I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah. Unless I'm editing it, I don't ever kind of watch it back really. Obviously, I've experienced it myself, is one of the reasons, but um, yeah. Look who's watching her, her own lovey dovey interview. It's not me, it's Jin. Anna san, please show us your engagement ring. Ah, here's my favourite part. She's embarrassed, she's embarrassed. It's so cute. <laughs> These absolute little rats right here. I'm gonna fucking kill you two. <laughs> How cute that is from uh, Osaki right here. Nah, nah. <laughs> Hurry up and show them. I know, but so we can get this thing over with. Posing like that is a bit. Yeah, it's a bit. Oh, oh, it's a bit like that, isn't it? Oh, look at my ring. <laughs> All you wanted to take pictures of was this, right? Please, take some pictures of this lovely lady. Bash, bash. It's so moving. However many times Misato watches this scene, she cries. Yeah, I bet. I bet. When are we seeing her again, man? When are we going to be learning about her? A bit more about her? I can't wait for that. If that does happen. Again, it might be a thing of this is put, put on hiatus before we ever get that. Speaking of which, what happened to Misato? Is she doing okay? Who is this Misato? When will you enter her name in the family register? When is the ceremony? When will you start living together? I'll be entering her name soon, but we don't have any plans for the ceremony yet. As for the rest, I'll leave it up to your imaginations. We'll look forward to seeing who can come up with the most creative news report. Shin is referring to himself in the third person, depending... Yeah, I mean, didn't, didn't go with that, did I? I appreciate the the comments a lot of the time under here, but that one is a bit obvious, right? Nana, San, smile. Look up, please. Naoki's late. I wonder what's up. Maybe I should get up, get up the guts to call him. Nana San. San? Please show us your engagement ring. Wow, this is really cool. Both our girls married. What the hell? <laughs> well, engaged. Getting married. What the hell? This is this is yeah, this is really cool. Both of them look very pretty here. Yeah. Very very at peace, don't they? They look very nice. I like this shot a lot. Nana. I'm going to run up Cinderella's stairs without falling too. Without failing too. Ooh. Expensive car. The flowers. Looks like he has arrived. If you try hard enough, your dreams will come true, right? Like how you caught up with Ren. Sorry I'm late. Since we were since you were going to be riding with me, I just had to get my car washed. Why? Why are all the members of Trapness like this around women? <laughs> yeah. Am I dre okay dressed like this? I had no idea how to dress for a celebrity birthday party. Aha! Uh -huh. Celebrity? Don't worry about it. Today's a private party in an isolated house. Relax, relax. Oh really? That seems so cool, like a foreign film. And besides, Nana and Nana are friends, right? And of course you know Takumi. Huh? Uh, Nana? So yeah, it looks like she might have now been informed that Blast are going to be here. It's really confusing that you two have the same name. May I grandly refer to you as Hachika? Grandly? That's fine. So what about Nana? Nana's going to be there too. So you can stop being nervous, right? Yasu's coming too. Well, I think that might make her more nervous. Maybe not. I don't know. 
might work both ways. Might as, as stupid as it sounds, might might make her more and less nervous in different respects, perhaps. Less nervous about there being a load of strangers. More nervous that Nana's gonna be there. What? I get to see Nana and Yasu. I'm so happy. Okay, good. Good. Ah, you're that happy? Yeah, that's great. Today is also Shin's birthday, so Blast and Trapness are celebrating together. Huh? This is interesting, isn't it? Because is she now going to wonder why she wasn't invited by Blast? That could, uh, yeah, that could make her feel a certain way, perhaps. It was originally part of the plan to get Ren to give Nana her ring at the party, but it's become kind of like an engagement party too, huh? But Shin's birthday is in January. Unless he lied on his personal history. He's hopeless. Huh? What's that? Are you two good friends as well? Ah, uh, yeah, since... So are you saying that everyone in Blast hangs out even in private? Yes. Man, it's so rare for a band to be that close. Yeah, I bet it is. Again, I recently watched um, Almost Famous, and that was a pretty good look at kind of a band and the ins and outs and them being together quite a lot. I imagine you would want to actually have some space and be apart from these people that... It's like work, isn't it? It's like every bit of work. No one wants to spend all their time with their workmates, unless you're really, really good friends, I guess. But personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, that would just remind me of work. <laughs> wouldn't want to spend too much time with the people I'd work with, unless again, I really like them. I'm so jealous. And they're in the bloom of youth too. Really? I, I thought that was pretty normal. But if you were that close, they should have invited you. They're pretty thoughtless. Again, this is what I was worried about. Wait a second. That's not right. It's because they are thoughtful. That they didn't invite me. Because Nobu's going to be there. So will Takumi. Ah, knew it. I shouldn't be going. Hey. Hello. Ah, sorry I'm late. Yeah, I'm just pulling up. No, nothing happened. Nobody would be dumb enough to lay a hand on Takumi's woman. She wants to talk to you. Huh? Reira. Fuck's sake, Kamatsu. Ah, Nana-chan. I'm sorry I was, even, I was so pushy when I invited you. No, it's... I've really thought about it. You're really good friends with Shin, right? I'm sure he's going to be really happy that you're coming to celebrate. I wish that I was Hatchu's child. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's actually really sad, isn't it? I can understand where he's come from. I would like to be as well. I, I think she should be a great mother. My, I love, I love my mum. Don't get me wrong. But if I didn't have my mum, Hatchu would be a great mum. Yeah. Good. I'll be waiting. Beep. Naoki san. No need for the san. <laughs> Is Reiro good friends with Shin? Huh? She wasn't just saying hi. He's also good friends with Yasu. Kind of suspicious, isn't it? So that's it. That's all it is. So Reiro just heard all about Shin from Yasu and was thoughtful enough to invite me. She's such a nice person. It seems like there's no way she has anything going on with Takumi. That's quite extravagant. What are they called? Chandelier? Quite the extravagant chandelier right there. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Oh, shit. Look who caught that. I'm relieved. Takumi's not a liar. Takumi. We have a huge problem. 
There's a super VIP here. Damn it. Don't invite obnoxious people like that. Who is it? A super VIP is about to arrive. <laughs> the VIP of VIPs. Oh, oh, we're actually talking about someone. Oh shit, these girls are here? I thought they are talking about Komatsu. I was about to say, how? there's some nice bigs up there from Ren. But no, not okay. Yeah, mute what I just said. <laughs> I thought they were talking about Komatsu. It's like, yeah, that's a super VIP right there. No, it looks like it's the Prawn Star and uh, Mew. You end up getting invited, invited somehow. I guess it would be a little rude not to invite them. But is she, is she, is she that big? This, this girl. Sorry, I keep stuttering right now. Uh, yeah, is she that big a Prawn Star? Oh God, this could. Yeah, I was about to say, this could be bad. Look at that. It's quite funny as well because she's all over Nobu. <laughs> a little bit of reverse here, I guess. Uh, in a way. Not really the same situation as Kamatsu with Nobu and Akami, but a little bit of uh, a little bit of payback from Nobu's side, hopefully here. Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. I would hope for that actually. I don't know. Bit of a bit of an awkward situation, this isn't it? Very pretty lady. This place is a too amazing. Is it a castle? Just what you'd expect for a trap nest. Trap nesters. Trap nests. Princess's party. I wonder how much it costs them. I want to live here and stay for one night. We've got lots of guest rooms ready. Ah, you just want to, just want to slap it. Just want to, ah, you're getting married. We were getting married. I'm staying over too. Uncensored Takami until morning. Huh? Damn. I was one step too late. Or what? Yeah, Ren was thinking about that a little bit as well. Again, it, this it's where your mind goes, this isn't matter. But my god, this guy just gets worse. Just gets worse as time goes on. Would it be really okay if I stayed over? Where's uncensored Naoki? <laughs> Excited. It's definitely okay. See, this is again from what I was talking about with Na the Naoki backstory. It seems like this is the type of woman he attracts, just like one time sex partners. <laughs> Look at Mew. I like Mew's outfit here. It's little black scrunches. Scoop. It's definitely okay. I'll give you the best room. And I kind of hope Komatsu kind of catches Takumi doing something with this woman or something along those lines just so she can dump his ass. I'm not even sure she would though, so I'm kind of not hoping that would be the case. I don't know. I think it's definitely shown, like like I keep saying about the London Stella girl, that little glimpse of whatever we saw there, which we didn't see much of at all. Um, def I think it's definitely been, I don't know, it's definitely kind of understood that Takumi would cheat on Komatsu. And that is like a definite, isn't it? No, boo! Oh, Kosaka Yuri. Oh, it's Kosaka Yuri. Everybody knows this woman, it looks like. Wow. Wonder how. <laughs> where, do, where do all these people recognize her from exactly is a good question. She's very pretty. It's Kosaka Yuri. Whoa, she's cute. She's shorter than I thought. Here, have a quick bite. Hey, Nobu, this may be even more scandalous than Nana. Well done. <laughs> hey? Hey, Nobu, I was told that it's okay to stay over. I have a room, so do you want to stay over too? Damn, she really is very interested in Nobu, isn't she? Okay. I'm so jealous. <laughs> she really is, like, there's big stars here. Good looking men. Big stars. And she's still for Nobu, hey? It's pretty impressive on Nobu's part. What the hell? Why is he not behind me in the line here? 
I set it all up for him. <laughs> and this is the payback. Let's go. <laughs> Serves you right. Eh. Takumi forgave me that time when I went to see the fireworks. I'm sure that he'll be willing to let me go tonight too. Well, he looks like he's already a little pissed, so. Oh man, this is this is about to be chaos, right? Pie. But I'm sure Nobu is still going to hate an insensitive woman like me. Even so, I still want to be able to celebrate Shin's birthday every year. Shin said he wishes that he hadn't seen that he hadn't been born. That was a long time ago that was said, wasn't it? No matter what happens, I don't want Shin to wish he'd never been born. Wow! Get down, Hachiko! There are paparacchio Papa, Papa in front of the gate. Which I think is like their name for paparazzi. Huh? Rakio? If you missed this in the earlier chapters, paparacchio is now his inexplicable combination of the world paparazzi and rakio, a type of pickled onion. <laughs> Didn't know that was the case. Pickled onion. So we've got the mosquitoes, which I think they're called. And now we've got the paparazzi, paparazzi pickled onions. Little rats, aren't they? Ah, oops. Just the checkpoint staff. Since it's Yamaoku, looks like the reporters haven't been haven't found it. Sorry I shocked you, Hachi. Is the baby okay? This is my friend, Nana, Chan. She's not on the invite list, but it's okay, right? Nice to meet you. Go ahead. We heard from Rayra. Crush. Hey, Nana. If Cinderella's glass slipper fits so perfectly, I wonder why it fell off along the way. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Oh man, I'm 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 not sure why I should be feeling that. I'm kind of excited, but also a little bit scared because a lot's going on right now. Nobu's getting I wouldn't say assaulted, but highly is is highly is is the interest <laughs> how do I work this? Is of high interest to a prom star at this party. Uh seeing her all over him might make Kamatsu feel away. Takumi's pissed and I'm not sure he'll be more I'm not sure how he'll feel that Komatsu's at this party considering he didn't even invite her Blast didn't invite her so I, I imagine they might be feeling a bit bad that she's actually here and they didn't tell her um, There's a lot going on here is what I'm trying to say. There's lots of little spinning wheels in here isn't there? So again, I'm a little bit scared This is amazing It can't help I can't help but think that it was on purpose to attract the prince's affections. No matter what I do, I still have the fate of a girl who just keeps getting hurt. Well, that doesn't bode well. Wonder if she can ever be happy in this pointless one-man show. Good question! Will you ever be happy in this plan, this grand scheme of... Of Takumi's because at the end of the day it all goes according to his plan and his wishes and surely life must be boring if that's the case right if everything goes to your plan just as you pictured surely life must be boring as fuck I mean he does have a lot of sex with cheats on Komatsu so maybe not or you've got to imagine he does anyway yeah we haven't actually seen it yet but I've got to believe it's happening I'm glad she's questioning this because it's a good question. Will she ever be happy in this? No, I don't think she will. As as I said in, earlier on in the intro, I read the Naoki backstory and it seemed like a lot of bad members were not happy with his plan of things. Don't get me wrong, it was successful and at the end of the day he succeeded and they've become massively popular. But a lot of people didn't like him. A lot of people were scared of Takumi. A lot of people left the band because of him. Hopefully this is a similar situation. I thought Naoki's thoughts on Takumi and his plans were really interesting though. He's always kind of going along with it. He doesn't care about the fact that he's like got a little plan and such. He just seems to want to enjoy the music and such. Yeah, good chapter today. Good chapter today. Again, 
a little bit scared of this party, but super excited for it as well. Some nice moments here from uh, a lot of Komatsu. This was definitely my standout shot of the uh, of the chapter, but I'm going to wrap this up quickly because, like I said, I'm, I'm uh, a little bit ill right now, so I've uh, literally had to pause every five minutes, so apologies about all the cuts. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this chapter in the comment section, though. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week with chapter 46, so I'll see you guys then, and enjoy the rest of your day, guys.